In their first state tournament game, Ashland Legion took on Shrewsbury on Saturday, July 27. Post 77 was trailing 3 to nothing after Shrewsbury plated a run in each of the first three innings, but the post 77 bats got going in the bottom of the fifth. And this is hit into right field. That'll get down. Lead runner Rankatori heading to third. He's going to be waved around, and he will score the first post-77 run of the day. An RBI double for Kevin Balowitz. The 2-0. And this is at the second baseman, and he gloves it, throw to first, but a run will score. So they get the out, but Nick Calabrese comes around to make it a 3-2 game. A sacrifice RBI ground out for Brandon Grover. It was a 3-2 game with two outs in the bottom of the sixth. Then it was two out rally time. One and two. This is hit in the air over to right field. That'll get down for a base hit. And Amalfi rounds first, but will stay there. Two out single. And this is hit in the air over to center field. That'll get in. For a base hit, lead runner will stop at second. It's Rankatori aboard with a single. Melfi advances the second. Nick Calabrese to the plate. And this is hit in the air over to left field, and that'll get down. Lead runner being waved around. Here he comes. The throw in is not in time, and it's a tie game. An RBI single for Nick Calabrese. Alex Amalfi scores. Rankatori up to second, and we are knotted at three here in the bottom of the sixth. And this is hit up the right side, into right field it goes, and the go-ahead run is going to score for post 77, a runner behind him, and it's a 5-3 ball game. A two RBI single for Brandon Grover. Wind up and the pitch. Gets a piece of this one, and that'll drop into right field. Lead runner being waved around. Here comes Balowitz. The throw in is off the mark, and it's a 6-3 post-77 lead. Awful quiet at Fino Field. An RBI single for Jackson Hornung. He advances the second on the throw. Ashland post-77 takes the lead and never looks back as they took down Shrewsbury. 6-3 to three in day one of the 2019 Senior Legion State Tournament. Tom Nappy here with Coach Obid. Coach, a tremendous come-from-behind win against a very good Shrewsbury team. Did you get nervous at all when you guys were scoreless through four innings? Um, you can never be nervous about our, bat our bats. I was a little nervous about us in the field. We seemed, <laughs> sorry, we seemed to sleep. Um, we weren't really... We weren't really awake in the field. We weren't making the plays we usually make. We were missing cuts when the guys coming to third. Little stuff like that. Um, Al was getting behind a lot of hitters, um, which isn't him. Um, so that concerned me. I mean, but the turning point in the game really was second and third, nobody out, uh, three nothing game with their big hitters out. I think it was two, three, four. And we get that ground out to uh, shortstop for Jackson. And he gets, and they make a base running mistake, and we take advantage of that, and we get that out. And then we're first and third. Al bears down. He gets a pop up, um, and then he comes out and he gets a fly out uh, to the outfield to end that inning, which was huge. Or no, I think he got a strikeout to end the third. Was it? Do you have it right there? I think it was a K to end the third inning. Uh, yes. Yep. Yep. So we got a K to end the third inning. Um, and Keem and I looked at each other when it was second, third, nobody out, and we were like, a single here makes it tough. Five zip is tough with this team, the way the pitcher's cruising. Um, but that gave us life, it really did. And it's little things like that. Even in a three zip game, we got some hope there. Uh, and then to respond, we didn't respond directly after that, but then in the fifth, um, a couple guys get on base and Kevin Balowitz comes up, pinch hitter, um, sophomore comes in. And I feel I have a lot of confidence in Kevin. That's why I'm able to plug him in for my leadoff hitter. Um, and he comes up and he hits a double. And he makes it a completely new game. And then Brandon does a good job driving in a run. It wasn't a hit, but it was a run. It got the guy to third. And another thing that showed the character of these guys is it's easy to get down when you have the tying run on third base with Jackson and Dom up next, and he doesn't score. Um, but what we did was we stayed positive. We went out, we put up a zero. And then to have two outs and your seven, eight, and nine hitters who haven't been seeing the ball well this game come up with three straight singles to tie it 
get it to the top. Kevin Balowitz, another great at bat, and then Brandon Grover, and then obviously Jackson. It kept carrying over. Um, it showed a lot about this team's character, this team's fight, and our depth. It really did. Uh, we don't quit. As you guys have seen, we do not quit, um, and we're never out of a game. And it was it was special to see today. It really was. Well, can you believe Larry was shocked? Uh, he just didn't expect it. I mean, His jaw dropped, you know. Yeah, Larry sucks. I mean, what can I say, you know? <laughs> Larry's the worst of all time. So I don't know why Larry's in, in the booth on the staff, you know. But uh, he, he pays us he is, to yeah. be on the staff. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, he pays me to let him let him hang around, too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, Larry has little to no faith in us, and I mean, it, it, it just motivates us that much more. <laughs> Well, Larry always has a negative attitude. Uh, Alex Amelfi was tremendous today. He seemed to only get stronger as the game went on. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about his performance? Uh, Alex was, again, he was fantastic today. He really was. He didn't have his stuff in the first couple innings, but as soon as he bared down, started getting ahead of hitters, that's when, that's when he got back to himself. Um, and it was, it was really awesome to see him stay poised and fight and keep us in the game and eventually win us the game. He was at 74 pitches through four innings. So he had 31 left in the last three innings and he finished that game. Uh, that shows a lot about his performance today. He was great. He got Again, he got better as the game went on. Um, really did. He's a talented pitcher. He's a special kid too. And uh, I'm proud of him today. I'm really proud of him today. Tom Nappy here with Alex Amalfi and of course Gandhi. Alex certainly well deserved today. How was it facing this uh, Shrewsbury lineup? You seem to only get stronger as the game went on. Yeah, at the beginning it was rough. I knew they were a good team. Those uh, the top of the order, the middle of the order, were pretty good. So they kind of got at me at the beginning. But then I had I through the fourth inning, I heard the announcer say I had like 70 pitches. So I knew that I had to bear down and just keep throwing strikes to win it. So that's all I did. Well, you certainly did. You got through that uh, entire game. How fulfilling was it to pitch the complete game here today after you having uh, 70 pitches throughout that first four innings? It was very fulfilling because I knew that made uh, I knew I could get Gandhi. <laughs> it made me feel good about it. So, and uh, you must be excited to take home Gandhi for the night. I am very excited. Drew, you had a good day at the plate. You went one for two with a walk, scored a couple runs. Can you uh, talk about your performance out there and what it was like to come back and beat this very tough Shrewsbury team? Oh yeah, uh, they're a tough team. We knew they were going to be the best team we played all year coming in, and um, my thought was just see ball, hit ball, and um, I did that in the first at-bat, flew out, and I knew that um, I was getting a pretty good swing on it, and so I just kind of let my, my teammates hype me up. They're always giving energy in the dugout, and I could hear them at the plate, and uh, I just took that into my at-bat and was luckily able to put a good swing on it. Did you guys get nervous at all when you were uh, scoreless through the first four innings? Um, I, don't, I wouldn't say nervous is the word. I would say, um, I mean, we definitely were a little bit frustrated and wanting to break through, and um, that's why it made it that much more special when we were able to in the, in the fourth and the sixth innings, I think it was. And um, I just think that uh, he definitely, he was making good pitches, he was hitting his spots, and um, you know, it just took a few hits to string together, and we helped make him lose confidence a little bit, and that grew our confidence, and I think that was, that was the turning point. And uh, it must feel good to start off the state tournament with a win against an elite team like the Shrewsbury squad. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we know how tough it is to, to battle back from the loser's bracket after losing the first game, so getting that first one is huge. Uh, not only because it puts us in a better position, but because it, it builds our confidence a little bit going to the next game. And when you, we play confident, we, uh, we definitely play better, and we, we, we walk with a little more swagger, and we, um, you know, we feel like we have a better shot going forward as a result. Well, Drew, congratulations on a great performance out there today and a win on the first day of the state tournament. We look forward to tomorrow and the rest of the state tournament. All right, thank you very much.